Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise to congratulate the staff, volunteers, and board members of Oak Hill Charter School in Caldwell County, North Carolina. The school was unanimously approved by the North Carolina Charter Schools Advisory Board, and its doors will officially open this August. This accomplishment is amplified by the fact that Oak Hill is one of only two accelerated schools to earn this opportunity this year. Let me tell you, Madam Speaker, this is no small feat. Recently, I received a heartfelt email from Kelly McIntyre, the board chair of the school. She marveled at how God has guided the journey of everyone involved at Oak Hill and how along the way the right people and resources came together in perfect harmony. Kelly, I agree with you wholeheartedly. God's hand has been in your work every step of the way. Right now, nearly every single class at Oak Hill has a waiting list. Families are beyond enthusiastic at this opportunity for their children. The outpouring of support from the surrounding community must also be recognized. Donations of furniture, school supplies, and other essential items continue to stream in on a weekly basis, and volunteers continue without delay to see projects through. Madam Speaker, there's a quote from American anthropologist Margaret Mead that encapsulates the story of Oak Hill perfectly. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. It's clear that these committed citizens are also working in the will of God. In Kelly's email to me, she remarked that, it's the most amazing thing to see this mission that started as just a thought, a spark, grow into a force that I believe will be life-changing for many. Madam Speaker, that sentiment is profound, and it is a direct reflection of the opportunity that charter schools provide across the country. Parents, teachers, and communities recognize the value of charter schools because they challenge a failing status quo. Charter schools are guaranteed operational autonomy to provide rich alternatives to students and families. Most importantly, they provide educational freedom and choice, two fundamental principles that are desperately needed in education right now. Instead of being held accountable to the education bureaucracy, charter schools are accountable to students, families, and their communities as they should be, Madam Speaker. Congratulations again to everyone at Oak Hill Charter School. The work you will undertake and the opportunities you will provide to our next generation of leaders in the coming months and years will be nothing short of spectacular. May God continue to bless you in your mission of serving the Caldwell County community. I yield back.